guys what's up i'm on the way to the gym to hit a five rep max pr for military press and bent over row and i'm just in a shitty fucking mood today woke up just bad vibes i have my routine and I really love my routine and uh, when it starts off in a shitty way it just fucks up my mood and I'm just rushed I have a hair appointment right after my workout and that's gonna take a couple hours of my day I'm just I'm in a shitty fucking mood and I wanted to share that with you because this is my real life I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything I'm not gonna pretend like every day is a good day and I'm feeling like you know when you're trying really hard and you just and you want things to happen like immediately when you know that they take time but you're working so hard and you're like why am i even fucking trying like that's this has nothing to do with my fitness goals this has to do with like my business and personal goals but you can probably relate when it comes to fitness to this like when you're trying really hard to lose weight or get stronger or put on muscle or whatever your fitness goal is and you're busting your fucking ass and you're trying so hard every day and you're like nothing's happening what why am i even bothering and i've been there with my fitness goals and that's why i've given up in the past but this is the time that it's really testing you and this is the time you need to shine through and don't let your mind win your it's like the it's like the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other and the devil is whispering all this negative bullshit in your ear and it's so easy to take that and be like you know yep you're right fuck it i'm done the devil won you are stronger than that little negative part in your brain you are stronger than that devil on your shoulder and i'm telling myself that right now so if you're watching this i'm sorry this isn't like a positive i mean i guess it is positive but i'm just needed to be honest with you and i'm just struggling with some stuff but i'm gonna keep pushing and it's all gonna pay off and so it will it will do the same for you it will pay off for you don't give the fuck up don't give up and i'm talking to you but i'm also talking to myself right now i need to tell this to myself so i'm gonna go i'm kind of happy that i have my i'm breaking prs today because it's gonna be a hard workout and I'm just gonna blast some like old-school screamo in my ear like thumbs up for the people who used to listen to like Coheed and Cambria, Taking Back Sunday, all those people like Papa Roach like that's what's gonna be in my ear today that like punk rock screamo that's like hardcore for for this little girl but thumbs up if you remember those 90 days and 90s days I can't I can't talk I'm not gonna rant for too long I'm gonna try to film my heavy lifts for you so I will see you at the gym bye only know you've been high when you're feeling low only hit the road when you're missing home you only know you love it when you let it go but you let it go uh, uh. Look, see I remember when I met you as a sophomore Started out as friends, but I knew that we would want more Hit your favorite restaurant, with your favorite dress on That's one of my favorite memories that I've kept on the road with me I know it's crazy how things change so quick Went from rock bottom to all this fame and shit But look, I couldn't love you, but I wished I could Cause I got hurt and closed you off and you understood But look, yeah, that's just blood on the leaves Champagne tastes worse when it wasn't for free That's why these thirsty bitches didn't come here with me Move along, girl, there's nothing to see uh, And what a blessing every second is Miss Cars and messages Alright, just did my new 5 Rep Max PR for bent over row and military press Oh, my bent over row was 120 Military press was 80 gonna finish up my military pass and I will see you at home to talk about how to program your training bye guys hey guys my camera is about to die but I wanted to show you my post-workout meal I got 
cold potatoes, 10 ounces of cold potatoes. I'm on my way to get my hair done. I brought some protein bars because I always bring something with me to the hair salon. And I wanted to show you, I have the new Quest Hero Bar and then I also brought a My Bar. I wanted to show you how I choose my bars depending on like what I have going on in the day. So I'll be at the hairdressers for a couple hours. And this Quest Hero Bar, there's 27 carbs, 11 fiber. This has 17 carbs, but only one gram of fiber. So I'm gonna go with the higher carb bar because the fiber will keep me full, whereas this will just be a snack and I'll be starving. So that's how I choose my protein bars if I, if I know I won't have another meal for a couple hours. Go with the higher fiber, even if it's more carbs, the fiber will keep you full. So camera's gonna die, I'm gonna go get my hair done. I will see you guys later. Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you enjoyed that workout footage. I hope it wasn't too boring for you since it was just me lifting heavy weights, but I wanted to talk about how to program your training. So the number one step to this is determine how many days that you can get to the gym. I would say four is a great amount. Three is totally doable. Five is what I recommend. You don't need more than five days and really shouldn't be less than three if you're lifting, but we are going to talk about all of that. So if you are someone who can only work out three days a week, I would recommend splitting up. You have a couple different options. So you could do upper body on a day, and do like two lower body days if you want to grow your legs you could do shoulders and triceps on one day back and biceps on one day and then legs on the other day or you could do a total body every single time you lift so say you lift monday wednesday friday and you do you hit every muscle monday wednesday friday or you could do kind of that same idea with a total body every day you lift, but on each day, choose a muscle group that you're gonna hit a little bit more, which I think is a fantastic idea. If you're only lifting three days a week, I really think that you should involve every muscle a little bit. So that's really, for three days a week, that would be my recommendation. Four days a week is a little bit better just because you can really hit your muscles a little bit more. Um, so what I would recommend with four days a week training would be to hit upper body twice and lower body twice. I would have two higher volume days, so you're doing higher reps, and then two lower volume days where you're doing heavier weight. So on the days that you're doing higher rep work, you're gonna lower the weight a little bit and that's just gonna kind of be like a pump up day. Just push that, push the blood in your muscles. And then on the heavier days, you're going to take your reps down. Now for your higher volume days, your higher rep days, I would work on leaving your reps to like 12 to 15. And then on your heavy days, I would bring the reps down anywhere from five to eight to 10 reps. So what a four day split would look like if I could only do four days, I would do two upper body days and two lower body days. I would do, let's for example, Monday would be a higher volume upper body day. Wednesday would be a higher volume lower body day. And then let's say Friday would be a heavy upper body day. And then Saturday would be a heavy lower body day. That's how I would do my training. I love hitting my muscles two times a week in different ways. Now, what I am currently doing is five days a week. And this is exactly what my training split is. So um, Saturday and Sunday, I have more time to lift. I love morning workouts. I have more energy during my morning workouts. So Saturday and Sunday are my heavy days. I use my compound lifts, which is just like your big main lifts. A compound lift just means you're using multiple muscles to perform that lift. So on my upper body day, which is Saturday, I do bent over row for my back and then standing military press for shoulders and I keep the reps at five. 
I do three to four sets of five and I go heavy. And every week I go a little bit heavier. Even if it's just adding five pounds to my total, I will do that because that it, you're adding volume. So that is what my Saturday looks like. It's my heavy upper body day. So I will perform my two heavy lifts and then the rest of the workout will just be back and shoulder accessory movements like lateral raises, lat pull down, cable row, and because it's my heavy day, I keep reps for my accessory movements at about 8 to 10. For leg day, I squat and deadlift. Those are my big main lifts, and I keep my reps at 5. I do 4 to 5 sets of 5, and then I move on to my leg accessory movements like lunges, leg extension, leg curl, leg press, and I will do that from like 8 to 10 reps and pushing, really heavy pushing myself. Those are my heavy days. So Saturday and Sunday. Monday, I have a rest day because after a heavy day, I like to rest. I am very sore, so I need the rest. Tuesday, I hit back and abs, and that is my higher volume day. I already performed my really heavy lifts, my lower reps on my back day on Saturday. So on Tuesday, I will lighten the weight a little bit and keep my reps to 12 to 15, but usually for me, it is 12. So on that day, I still do perform my bent over row, my compound lift, but I just lower the weight a little bit and I do higher reps. So with my big compound movement for back bent over row, I do three sets of 10 and then I move into my accessory movements, lat pull down, um, cable row, um, bent over row, like all of that, you know, anything accessory. So that is my Tuesday and I will hit abs. And then Wednesday, I do my high volume leg day. I lighten the weight for that day. Reps are about 10 to 12 and I still do my squat and deadlift, but I just do 10 reps and lighten the weight. And then I will perform all of my accessory movements with a higher rep range, about 12. On Thursday, I do shoulders in the same sequence. That is my lighter day, higher volume. I still do my shoulder press, but I do three sets of 10, and then all of my accessory movements are about at a 12 rep range. And I also hit arms with shoulders. And then Friday, I, I rest because Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I've been working out high volume. My body is, 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 is exhausted and I need to get ready for my heavy lifts on the weekend so Friday I rest and then I start all over on Saturday with my heavy movements for back shoulders and legs I do not train chest because I have implants and it was recommended from my doctor to not train chest so I just skip it um before I got my implants I did train chest not that much I'd usually just add that in to either my back or my shoulder day and just do a couple movements for chest. I don't need a big defined chest. Um, so that is my workout split currently. I am doing cardio right now. I am bulking. This is Project Rebuild. I'm trying to build all the muscle I can. So, but I still want to stay athletic and my cardiovascular health is really important to me. So I still do like to perform cardio. I have one high intensity cardio day where I do sprints and I leave that for my rest day on Friday. I really go hard with my sprints. That's hit high intensity interval training should be taxing on your body. And with all the lifting I do, I put everything into my lifts. I just am dead. So I save my hit cardio for my rest day. I would absolutely recommend you do that if you have the time to do so. My hit cardio is just six intervals. It takes like 12 minutes. It's nothing. And so I have that on Friday. And then I do do 10 minutes on the Stairmaster steady state at the same pace, 10 minutes after my high volume back day and after my high volume shoulder day, just to finish out my workout. That is what my split looks like. What I would recommend for you guys First, number one, determine how many days you can get to the gym. Number two, when can you perform your best? So when do you have the most time? And I'm talking in regards to like, if you wanted to have a heavier day, I would leave that for a day that you have some time, have some extra energy. And that's what my weekend looks like for me. So if you wanted to do the kind of split where you had a higher volume day and you did lighter weight, and then on another day you increased the weight 
and did lower reps, I would save that heavy day for, like me, a weekend or a day that you're off from work or a day that you have extra time. Then I would just write out on a piece of paper what days you can get to the gym. So like for me, I prefer the weekends and then I like resting after my heavy day and then right before my heavy day. So just determine when you can actually get to the gym or the best days for you. And then second would be to jot down the muscle group. So leave enough time between each muscle group so you can recover. Recovery is everything. You are ripping apart your muscle fibers and for them to grow back into um, bigger muscles, they need rest. That's why I only recommend five workout days. You don't need to be lifting six days because you, your body, your muscles need that rest, need that time to recover. After you have your schedule with all of your lifts on what day, then figure out what day you'd want to have your heavy and your light day and make a little workout for yourself. Go on YouTube, go on Instagram, I really like to keep my workouts simple. There's no need to do like cool looking, fun looking workouts. The simple stuff, the bro stuff is what works. So I hope all that information helped. I kind of forget what beginners questions are because I've been doing this for so long. So please comment below any questions that you have. If I missed anything, I would love to answer them for you. Please give me a thumbs up if this helped you guys. I would love to hear your feedback and um, I'm going to hopefully take you along for my heavy squat day. I have 220 pounds for five reps. I'm gonna try to take you along. Let's see if I can set up the camera in a way that you can watch me. So I will see you guys later. Wish me luck. Hey guys, so I forgot my camera, but I did get some footage on my phone. I will insert the clip here. A new five rep max PR for Sullivan. So that was my squat and deadlift. I'm so proud of my squat because I didn't think I was gonna do it. Brian just kept telling me, don't think about it, it's lightweight. <sighs> I had a great day. Meal prep is done. This week's masterpiece. Kept it simple, just did butternut squash, sweet potatoes, Yukon gold potatoes, and salsa chicken. But I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you found my tips on programming your training helpful. Please like and subscribe. As always, I really appreciate it. Comment below. Um, next week, we are going to look at him. Yeah, back there. Look at those pecs. Next week, I really want to talk about carbs. Carbs, carbs, carbs. 
project rebuild means eating, rebuilding your metabolism. So next week we're having the discussion about the terrifying carbohydrate. Bye, love ya.